Just after the Christmas holidays, um, she was complaining of headaches and nausea and, and then turned into severe neck pain. She fell over to her side and uh, became very weak and just not talking like herself. Um, you're dialing 911 and you're thinking this is critical, but you're thinking, you know what, I'm gonna be back home in an hour. They're gonna just tell me it's the flu and, and things will be fine, but it um, wasn't that. I just remember the doctor coming out and just sitting on the table in front of me and just looking at me and saying, your daughter has a mass in her brain and um, we have called an airplane and you will be rushed immediately to the hospital. You have fear combined with gratefulness that she's alive because they didn't know if she would survive the surgeries. I cannot say enough about the Stain Cassidy Centre. I consider them, you know, family to us because um, they've seen me at my worst and they've seen us at our best and they certainly all know Janica. And I often say from the moment that we walked into that Stain Cassidy door, it was a feeling I, I will never forget. It made me feel like we were surrounded by the best team ever, that she was going to be well looked after. Dr. Lecky was one of the first staff, obviously, that we met, because he was her doctor assigned to her, and he made me feel like she was the only person in that center. I was paralyzed on my left side, so Shane really helped me work on my balance. He'd make me like stand on this little ball thing, like half a ball, and it was like flat, and then there was a ball on it, and I'd have to keep my balance and, like for however long. And, like it was brutal. I think it was like I did a good job because like I was out of the state casting within two months, so I think I recovered pretty well. We're so overwhelming. It was just like we'll probably have to move, you know, because we have stairs in our home. Like, you know, all those things go through your mind. Will she lose her friends? Will she be able to live her own life? Will she be always dependent on us? But now um, that she's received this care at the St. Cassidy Center, she, uh, she's graduating from high school. She was able to go back to figure skating for a little while. She's uh, pursuing her dreams for the future. She has wonderful friends um, surrounding her.